Hi, it's Dwyer. GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com. Today is January the 28th, 2018. By the way, both of those are free sites. Let's talk about Lucas Matisse gaining the WBA Welterweight Championship over Tira Kiram. But first, remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now look, I know these boxing channels, I know these cable stations are desperate to show fights that they want to classify as world title fights. And I understand that these uh, sanctioning bodies are so intent on getting sanctioning fees that they'll have a real champion like a Keith Thurman and then they'll decide, you know what, let's have a second champion in the division, right? Keith Thurman is the super WBA welterweight champion. Although he's a real champion, why don't we have another champion? Another WBA champion at 147 pounds. We'll call that second guy the regular champion. Right now, somewhere, in my opinion, great welterweights are probably rolling their eyes behind the scenes, right? This is dilution, in my opinion, of the welterweight title, right? I can only imagine what a great welterweight champion like Ray Robinson must be thinking right now. You know, I understand different sanctioning bodies having different champions, but the same sanctioning body having different champions in the same weight class sounds absurd to me especially when you put together a fight like this and call it a title fight right now understand let's give some background at 147 pounds you have guys like Danny Garcia Sean Porter Manny Pacquiao Jesse Vargas Kel Brook None of these guys have titles right now, right? None of these guys have titles right now. But yet, for this fight that they called a WBA welterweight title fight, for the vacant WBA welterweight title, keep in mind, the WBA has Keith Thurman as its super champion at 147. For some reason, the WBA decided to dilute its brand. Let's be clear here. By having Lucas Matisse, credible, fight Tua Kiram, who's not credible. Right? Did you know that two fights ago, the fight before the last fight, did you know that Kiram fought a guy making his pro debut? Think about that. Right? Two fights ago, he fights a guy who had never fought in a professional boxing match before. Folks, that's padding the record, isn't it? Well, his last fight, right? Let's pick a more recent fight. His last fight was against a guy with 11 losses. Okay, someone's going to say, Dwyer, you're cherry-picking. You've just named his last two fights. Well, did you know if we go one fight before, the fight where Kiram fights a guy making his debut, did you know that he fought a guy with 14 losses? So all I'm saying is think about it. What kind of gymnastics would have a sanctioning body overlooking the names I've just named. Garcia, Porter, Pacquiao, Vargas, and Brooke. To come up with a fight that they've sold to you, the public, as a WBA welterweight title fight. Isn't that a little bit preposterous? Let me just say this too. Matisse. Now, you might recall he fought Victor Postal. He lost to Victor Postal at 140 pounds, right? This is a guy who himself has barely been at 147. Now, I'll agree. He did win 
an elimination match, right? In his fight before this one. So he's the credible guy here, but even he, you have to ask, how credible is he at 147? How is he fighting for the title ahead of the names I just mentioned? Well, just understand, Matisse didn't exactly look like gold, right? Kiram's jab bothered him, right? Let me just say this too. Matisse front foot heavy in hunter mode the entire time. Understand, it's when you get Matisse out of hunter mode. It's when you get him on his back foot that the guy has trouble. So here he is on his front foot, right, against a guy who didn't know how to push back against him, right? I'm giving this fight the red cup. I just think that too much maneuvering was done to call this fight a title fight. What this fight shows me is that Terrence Crawford, right, coming up from 140, a guy who doesn't have a lot of experience at 147, has yet another clear path to the belt at 147, right? He has a clear path, in my opinion, against Jeff Horn for a title at 147. Well, Matisse is another clear path because, let me say this, Matisse drops Kiram with two left hands from a low angle that come up and hit Kiram in the face, right? Takes him several rounds to deliver those punches. I'm just telling you that a Crawford who's ambidextrous with much better movement than this Kiram guy, right? A Crawford who's fought much better competition. Let me underscore that. Much better competition than this Kiram guy. Keep in mind, Crawford beats Postal, who, of course, had beaten Matisse. I believe a Crawford would be able to look at the films and would figure out ways to force Matisse onto his back foot, as well as to force Matisse to reset Right? Let me say, too, that Matisse, in my opinion, would also be vulnerable to another guy from 140, Mikey Garcia. Right? Because, let's just say, Matisse is not defensively blessed. Right? <coughs> I'm a little bit surprised that any sanctioning body that has Keith Thurman as one of its champions at welterweight would have any inclination or desire to have a second champion at welterweight. Let's just say Keith Thurman who said he needs a couple of fights before he fights Errol Spence. In my opinion can unify the WBA title against Lucas Matisse. <laughs> Understand Thurman when he wants can move around the ring. Understand, Thurman beat Danny Garcia, who, of course, beat Lucas Matisse, forced Matisse onto his back foot. <clears throat> so for me, this fight rings hollow. <coughs> it's choking me up as I make this video. Right? This fight rings hollow. This is one of those fights where I believe a network wanted to have a title fight and didn't want to pay Garcia, Porter, Pacquiao, Vargas, or Cal Brook money. Right? Rather than have a unification match, they decided to have this match. They picked the name Lucas Matisse, who's trying to come back. Didn't Matisse supposedly have eye problems against Victor Postal? Well, he's trying to come back. The public knows him, even though he really made his name in another weight class. And they put him in against really a sacrificial lamb who fought a lot of fights in Thailand against guys like the 11-loss guy, the guy making his debut, 
and the 14 loss guy. By the way, his last three fights, right? So forgive me if I'm a skeptic on this fight. I don't believe Lucas Matisse showed us anything that we hadn't seen before in a Lucas Matisse fight. I don't believe he was in against an elite opponent here, right? I think a guy like, let's say, a Danny Garcia who's already beat him. Let me just make a recommendation too. HBO, if you're going to put on a fight and call it a title fight and it involves Lucas Matisse, why not make it interesting by having him fight a guy who's already beaten him? Right? That will draw the crowd. Here, you put him in against a guy who's just two fights removed from fighting a guy making his debut, and we're supposed to be impressed by a knockout that took Matisse several rounds to do? To YouTube Nation, let me challenge you here. In the comment section to this video, and this video is being posted in addition to podcasts on my YouTube account at Dwyer70905. Name the round in the comment section to this video where Matisse is forced onto his back foot. Right? Boxing really deserves more scrutiny of these sanctioning bodies. When they put on a fight like this, Right? I'm going to wave a red cup when you don't have to look far to find more credible opponents. Folks, you mean to tell me this is the best the WBA can do in putting together a fight for its vacant welterweight title? You've got to be kidding me. In my opinion, the WBA brand got diluted Saturday night. That's how I see it. I take Terrence Crawford over Lucas Matisse. Right? Let me just say, I'm sure Mikey Garcia would find a way to have Matisse get on his back foot. Matisse would not be hunting Mikey Garcia this way. Anyway, let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section to this video. Thanks for stopping by.